Assalamu alaikum. Good afternoon, honorable speaker, distinguished guest, student, and their audience. I hope you are doing excellent even in the pandemic session. I feel privileged to welcome you to the webinar on introduction to SGPOLIX team. Thank you for your time to attend this webinar. The webinar on introduction to SGPOLI Extreme is jointly by SGPOLI BBT student branch, SGPOLI BBT Women in Engineering student branch affinity group, and SGPOLI Council on Superconductivity BBT student branch chapter. I am Janakul Firdaus Mim, student of Department of CSE from Bangladesh University of Business and Technology and video creator of Archipoli Council on Superconductivity BUT Student Branch Center. And this is Mahari Nafruz, student department of CSE, Bangladesh University of Business and Technology, and event coordinator of Archipoli BUT WIE Student Branch Affinity. We feel sorrow to share with you that Frank C. Lambert, president of IEEE PES 2020-21, has recently died on July 27, 2021. So before we start in today's webinar, I would like to request everyone to keep one minute silence for the remembrance of Sir Frank C. Lambert, sir. Thank you, everyone. At this moment, I would like to request to present the introductory video of the IEEE BUBT student branch and its all chapters and councils. Extreme is a global 24-hour programming competition organized by IEEE. In every hour, participants can solve the problem by supporting 25 different programming languages. C, C++, Java, Python, Ruby, Perl, PHP, C Sharp are among them. IEEE Extreme is the largest platform to showcase our programming skill to the world. In this webinar, we can learn what is IEEE Extreme? And why should a student take part in IEEE 15.0? What are the dreams and conditions for taking part in IEEE Extreme? And last one, not the least, who can the participant form a team with? Dear all participants, the time bell rang to introduce today's honorable speakers. We are here with Tarikul Islam Rimon, Student Department of Tripoli, Bangladesh University of Business and Technology, and the Chairperson of IEEE CSC BUBT SB Chapter, and Tonima Islam, 
student, Department of CSA, Bangladesh University of Business and Technology, and creative designer of IEEE BBTWIE student branch affinity. Dear audience, we have some of our respectful person in this webinar. Initially, I request Rami Sanan, chairperson of IEEE, BBT Women in Engineering Student Affinity Group, for delivering her welcoming speech over this webinar. Thank you, Min, and very good afternoon to all. At first, I appreciate the student of BUBT, IEEE, BUBT student branch for their frequent arrangement of such meaningful events throughout the year, and they are really doing excellent. I also thank the committee members of IEEE, BUBT, Women in Engineering, student branch affinity group and IEEE Council on Superconductivity BUBT student branch chapter for arranging such a meaningful event that will make the participant encouraged to participate in the IEEE Extreme by gathering valuable concept about IEEE Extreme. In fact, participating in the IEEE Extreme develop the programming skill like computer science, electrical and electronics information technology. Students who have IEEE student membership can develop in the arena of programming. So I think it's a great initiative to arrange the event where <laughs> you will <laughs> get <laughs> However, I think we will get great insight from the speaker today and will learn a lot from the webinar. So I wish them all the best for today. And that's all from my side. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ram Sanan, for sharing such valuable words. Now I request to present the introduction video. Now I would like to welcome our speakers once again and request them to start their demonstration. Okay. Thank you, Mim and Maharin for your superb introduction and thanks to the organizing brands and chapters for arranging the webinar and selected me as a speaker of today's session. So good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining. Uh, now I'm trying to share my screen. Uh, please confirm whether you can see my screen or not. Can you yes. see my screen? Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. At first, we will start with uh, what IEEE Extreme is, and then we'll uh, go ahead with the uh, other things regarding the IEEE Extreme. Uh, including the ambassador program, eligibility to participate in the IEEE Extreme, uh, rules of the competition, uh, registration, and few other things will also be discussed in today's session. Just for reminder, I'll talk about some important slides, so you may take screenshots of them, and we'll also ask you for your attention, then you can respond in the chat box. I also request you to listen carefully so that uh, if I share the presentation slides with all of you, you'll be able to do the same as I am doing now. That means you will be the presenter for your student branch to reach awareness about IEEE Extreme. So just a quick introduction about me. Uh, myself, Tarek Ulyssam Rimon. I am currently doing my BSc in IEEE in Bangladesh University of Business and Technology. I have joined in IEEE BUBT student branch in January this year. Then I have been uh, serving as volunteers in many of the chapters of the student branch. 
before that i have also served as a central par central prefect in my school and college from where i have been in the leadership since my childhood and that's all about me just to share with you today first so let's get started with what i think will extreme at first just before starting i want to ask you what first come up in your mind about i think will extreme please respond in the chat box what is the first impression about i think will extreme no one respond yet ramon convert it full screen okay programming competition prestigious competition for ip pulian competition hardware and programming collaboration okay you all are right share your slide in full screen please yeah okay now is it okay uh, no it's the same i have turned into so share your skill and uh, share for entire your skill maybe select a window maybe okay 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 now can you see my screen uh, yeah it's fine okay thank you. thank you so it pool extreme is one of the premier programming competition uh, which is directly organized by it pool for the it pool student members uh, this is one of the 24 hour event who is it pool organized so this is a programming competition as most of you know right yes i have yeah. seen that you already responded in the chat box and uh, most of you uh, written that have written that uh, it's a competition programming competition collaboration all are rights and it's actually 24 hour event and uh, it's uh, generally happens with uh, programming competition programming uh, exam something like it's a competition This competition is open to all undergraduate and graduate students uh college or university students uh they are belonging to with an IEEE student membership in every hour participants will get a problem to solve problem stages and the difficulty levels will be different participants can solve the problems by supporting 24 different programming languages C C++, Java, Python, Ruby, Perl, PHP are among them. IEEE Extreme is the largest plus platform to showcase your programming skills to the world. So, if you have active IEEE membership, whether you are undergraduate or graduate students level, you can participate in the IEEE Extreme. The competition is hosted virtually now and simultaneously happening around the world. if the covid situation improves uh, in most of the areas you can have the competition at your college and at your university itself or some like supervised venue otherwise you can just host it uh, virtually so all the students can join using any of the virtual platform like google meet or zoom or something like that and they uh, need uh, they need to have a proctor there and thus have the competition also 
otherwise it is like all the students or all the participants will be joining at a venue at a student branch and then participate from there and the competitors are required to be portrayed by a local IEEE professional member which usually will be student branch counselor or professors of your college or university supervisor or any of the professional members who you know will be proctoring the competition for the IEEE student members. So when you are registering for the IEEE extreme, you need to make sure that you have a proctor with your team by registering for the competition. So as ambassadors, you will be helping the students in registration and you will be facilitating the proctors and you will be getting the proctors uh, for the IEEE student members who are willing to participate in the IEEE extreme. So the team, as I said, often supported by the local IEEE student branches and the local IEEE student branches often support the uh, whole competition from the beginning to the end of the competition. So we know that we have a lot of events going on in IEEE student branches as well as a lot of competitions are also happening in the IEEE student branches, isn't it? Now, currently in our student branch, uh, uh, we are arranging a lot of events. But what makes the IEEE extreme unique? Is that it is one of the largest competition hosted by IEEE itself. And it always engages maximum number of IEEE members. We had over 9,000 participants last year. Before that, also we had over 9,000 participants before the previous year, like in 2019, we had around 9,000 plus participants. So IEEE Extreme is open to all, like we don't have any restrictions on the college and university, or like anyone who is joining. It's open for all, like in IEEE student member, no matter which college or which university you are belonging to. So if you are a student member, you can participate in the IEEE Extreme so we don't have any, uh, you know, any problem uh, with the level of location or the university affiliation. So we are welcoming you to join to the international community. The quality of IEEE Extreme is really super. And you know, uh, for like the teamwork and the whole one year, to have the best quality for the competition. So the quality of the competition is carefully curated by hundreds of IEEE volunteers. And this is one of the competition where you can get to chance to participate with the participants over 75 countries. Last year we had more than that. We had 88 countries participating last year. And which includes like the students from reputed universities also like we have ambassadors as well as we, ha we have students participating from all the reputed universities around the world, including the mighty Howard. We have students ambassadors as well as students participating from these universities too. So you get a chance, uh, like whatever you are from around the globe, you will get a chance to participate and compete with them and show your skills at that level. So I'll just explain how the competition goes on that particular day. So during the competition day, it starts at UTC 00000. Uh, so you, uh, you know, GMT 0000 starts at 12 AM GMT. And if you are in different countries, you can calculate the time to convert according to the country's standard time. So if you calculate it for Bangladesh standard time, it is around uh, 6 a.m. in the morning. The difference between the GMT and uh, Bangladesh standard time is six hours. So uh, it is 12 a.m. 0, 0, 0, 0. And according to the Bangladesh standard time, it is 6 a.m. in the morning. So the competition starts right at the time and you will be getting welcome messages as well as the first set of problems at the particular time. 
and the students like uh, you need to log into the online contest platform which is CS Academy and then get ready for the competition. At regular intervals during the whole competition, we'll be adding on the challenges as well as problems. They will be added at regular intervals. It may be one hour or two hour. At regular intervals, if it starts with one hour, repeating the questions, uh, then it, uh, the next question will also come in uh, after one hour. It will be adding two case or one case change at the time around two hours break or three hours break. So throughout the whole day, uh, the teams are also encouraged to have sufficient rest and eat and alternate between the challenges and have some fun activities. So I always encourage the students, uh, student branches as well as the ambassadors to have some fun activities occupied for the participants. Yeah, it's not just a setting day. In fact, it's ideally for 24 hours competition. So you can have enough rest, you can eat and just alternate between the challenges and all those things can be done during the competition. So the format of the competition, as I said, it is 24 hours competition. Uh, we support here 25 plus programming languages. And we'll be adding, as I said, like uh, one or two case changes will be added in every hour or every two hours. But it uh, will come in regular intervals of time. And we don't have any penalty for the number of submissions done or the time taken for each problem. Don't have any penalty for that. And this question, if you answer correctly, we'll get 30 points and there would be 70 extra points which should be added uh, to you based on the difficulty. The difficulty is measured based on the average points the team is scored on it. Now I am uh, explaining the difficulty means what actually the, difficult, uh, the term difficulty here means. So basically, if more team is scored a particular problem, when it will be considered as an easy question. And so the 70 points would be less like getting, uh, uh, you can consider it as 40 points for the particular problem. So the points will be changing throughout the competition. Uh, probably the first time the question will be set for 100 points, but later you will be seeing the points are reducing because more and more number of teams uh, solve the particular question, then the 70 points would be like lower and lower. On the other hand, when most of the students fail to answer a particular problem, then the points would be adding and the point will become higher and higher. As like the extra 70 points will look like 200 points just for the difficulty of the problem. So I can go to the website itpulextreme.org uh, slash rules to see the points getting uh, criteria in a detailed manner. And uh, that's all about the format of the competition. So here's the list of the winners in the previous episode of IEEE Extreme. That is IEEE Extreme 14.0. The first place got the Aurora team, Princess Sumay University for Technology, Jordan, R8 section. The second place was made by the Fire is our IT Pulley t-shirt team. University of Sao Paulo, Brazil, R9 section. And the third place got the Anso Coffee on campus, UNSW Sydney, Australia, R10 section. So these are some of the top winners from recent days. So let's just have a quick glance about how IEEE Extreme started. Uh, so it started in the year 2006, so just 44 teams participated in that year. But later you can see the graph is successively going up. You can see for the last three years, for the last three years, uh, we had close to 4,000 teams participated and in the last year, 3,722 teams participated that was less than before the previous year of 2019. 
twist was uh, due to the effect of growing ups and downs throughout the years. In the previous year, in 2019, uh, the team's number was 4,138. 4, but you can see a constant growth in the competition as well as the participants throughout these years. Okay. Now coming to the participants. Uh, look at how many students participated these years. So we can see we are very close to 10,000 students. 10,000 students uh, from across the world has joined into the IT Food Extreme competition. As you can see there, only starting with 108 students and it rose up to over 9,000 students across the different teams. So this is to show you how many people we are reaching with this competition in 100 of universities across the world. Okay. And this is with an important slide. You may take a screenshot of this slide. How do you know if you are eligible to join? Uh, so let's come to the eligibility criteria of the competition. So as I said, for the IEEE student members to participate, they just need to have IEEE membership. They can be either undergraduate or graduate student levels. And the students have to create a team of two or three members. It's up to them. Maximum three students can participate from a team. And the participants in a single team, the participants can be from any of the discipline department. We actually restrict the discipline uh, to be from computer science or electrical science. So something like that, you can have participants from you uh, know wide area of uh, discipline departments, including computer science, electrical, electronics, information technology, whichever are uh, disciplined. If you are an IEEE member, you can flip in the IEEE stream. So the proctors, who are proctoring the event? The proctor is a supervisor of a team that wisely do the competition to make sure you are not cheating are commenting with other teams. Okay, you are not sitting. This is the fair about IT Pool Extreme. Good way, to, uh, good way to think about proctors. That's for example, when you think about you are doing the final exam at university and the professor is monitoring everybody to make sure nobody cheats. So he's uh, proctoring the exam. Same as proctors will observe and supervise the team during a competition. The proctors will be the IEEE professional members. So the graduate students or students cannot be IEEE proctors. The IEEE proctors are usually young professionals as well as senior members, as well as life members sometimes are the proctors of IEEE extreme. Most of the time we have a student branch counselor nearby professional members to a student branch as the proctors for your team. So if you uh, want to select a proctor, you may select the uh, uh, branch counselor as your proctor. And the proctors need to virtually monitor the team and ensure their participation uh, virtually. If the competition is organized physically, then the proctor needs to be present for 24 hours on the particular day and monitor the team throughout the whole day. For the ambassadors, like IEEE student membership is needed for, and one ambassador will be selected from uh, each student branch and so only one ambassador as you might have seen already. Just you need to know, we have just sent out rejection emails. We sent over 1000 rejection emails for the ambassadors. That's just to show you how fair the competition is. The fact you made to be an ambassador shows give you the power to be an ambassador in IEEE Extreme. So think of some top universities are about 50% acceptance X. I mean, you are in the top average out of all the applicants. We have over 10,500. So remember that you are not just a student. It's greatness from you when you can become the ambassadors in IEEE Extreme. And IEEE Extreme don't have an registration fee something like it's open for all IEEE student members 
can directly go to the IDP stream and can get the chance to compete and become the top 100 teams as well. You know, there are prizes for top 100 teams, first place, second place, and third place, and fourth to 100 place. I will coming to the slide. So coming up to the team combinations, as I explained before. So we can only have maximum of three student members. Here are SM4 student members, GSM4 graduate student member. Okay. So we can only have maximum of three student members in a team only. Uh, if you have graduate student member, you can have maximum of two graduate students in a team. And one thing that is more important, we of course need a proctor for all team. And we just need to make sure that we have a proctor while we are going for a study. And if you find any difficulties to find the proctor, you can contact the ambassador. So if you don't have any idea about the proctors inside your locality or a student branch, you can contact the section head. And if they are also not able to get the proctors, they can directly contact the region lead. So they would be having the list of proctors who are already regist registered. So they will just give you the names and you can directly register for the competition there. Please respond so that I can uh, confirm that you are hearing me. Hello, are you here? Yeah, we are hearing you. Okay. Thank you. So then the maximum number, as you told, the maximum of two graduate students I allot per team is two. And the universities and colleges can have multiple teams in the student branch. They don't have any restrictions on the number of teams for a university of college. And only one restriction is that one proctor can serve maximum of 20 teams. So these things like to be difficult for a proctor to serve more than 20 teams. So to make sure that the competition is held carefully and so we just need to make sure that one proctor can only serve up to 20 teams. Uh, for example, I'm uh, uh, making you understand the fact clearly that if a university has 40 student teams, you need to have two proctors. And if somehow the team member becomes 41, then we need to have three proctors. One proctor can serve only 20 teams. I think it, uh, I can make you understand clearly about the fact, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So the team members, as I said, has to solve and complete the problems without assistance from the proctors or from the outside of the team. So we need to make sure that the proctor will be making sure that uh, their problems inside their team solve by themselves without assistance from outside of the team. And something important rules that for the last two or three years, we have instructed that the proctor need to be confirmed in the team. So uh, while registering you, uh, while, while registering, uh, you will be asked to enter the proctor ID or you will be able to select the proctor from the list given while you are registering. So if you are not able to find the proctor, contact the ambassador. Then ambassador has to contact the section lead uh, regionally to find the proctor. But if a team finds a proctor, then registers, uh, registers the team there will be a mail gone toward the proctor and they have to confirm the team. So if a particular team has registered, they need to make sure that the proctor has confirmed the team. So if the team is not confirmed, then they can participate, but will not be eligible for the prizes or participation certificates. So they need to make sure that the team is confirmed while they are going to the competition.
So coming to the impacts and the advantages we get as participating in IEEE Extreme. First thing for students, while participating, they get networking with global programming community. And they can experience the confidence in relation to personal coding skills. And if you are new to coding, you can see what are the skills you need to improve and what areas you need to improve in programming arena. And of course, you get the prestige and bragging rights depending on the final standing of your team at the end of the competition. For the proctors, they get to domain the students under them, and so they get the opportunity to mentor the students. And they can observe the original programming challenges coming now, and they can also highlight the local departments. For the ambassadors, as well, uh, as well as judges, they get uh, get to network with students and other volunteers globally, and also have a deeper connection to IEEE volunteer structures. Most of the students who are joining as ambassadors here will be new to IEEE, most of them. So who are experienced in IEEE, help them to know the structure better. Mostly the section leads are more experienced people. We'll try to make ambassadors know about the different structures of IEEE and all those things that an ambassador will have to be known in the IEEE extreme. So moving to the prizes, IEEE Extreme gives prizes either uh, as cash prize or travel accommodation uh, to the choice of IEEE conference. Uh, so for the first place, and they will be getting travel and accommodations to any choice of IEEE conference, and they can get up to uh, 3,500 US dollar per team member. For the second place, it is uh, 4,000 US dollar cash to each team member. And for the third place, it is uh, 300 US dollar cash to each team member. And for the next position, 4 to 100 place, uh, they will get gift bundle as well as top quarter t-shirt at the end of the competition, maybe after uh, two or three months. There will be a lot of teams who participate in IEEE Extreme uh, for the first time. So there will be people who are new to coding and wish to participate in IEEE Extreme. So it started a part, uh, practice community in 2015 uh, to facilitate these people. So they can get to know by joining IEEE Extreme. CES Academy, you can visit the uh, website CES Academy to more about this. Uh, where the previous year's questions as well as similar patterns questions are available there. So they can go through them and learn through them. And they can experience the competition uh, that uh, they can click by going through the past three or four years pattern. And the practice community will be open throughout the year to assist the beginners. So here is an example for problem statement. If say, please encourage the team uh, to get yourselves uh, used to see as a platform. And this is what uh, it looks like, the pattern of questions. So just ask to go to this website, but before the competition, just know what the formal looks like. If there is any questions about IEEE Extreme, check the rules and platform and programming languages who, what are acceptable. So very simple, you just compile and you run the sample and that's how it works.
Okay. I am welcoming my next partic next presenter, Tony Islam, to start from the next part. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Tarikul Islam Rimon, for your available speech. Myself, Tonima Islam from Bangladesh University of Business and Technology in Department of CSC. Also, creative designer, IEEE, BUBT, WIE, Student Brands Affinity Group. So, coming to volunteers. You know, IEEE Extreme, we have a 9,500 plus participate, participating in globally. So without the support of these student branches as full as volunteers like you, IEEE Extreme cannot happen that easily. So it's all the credit goes to all participate as well as or the ambassador who works to make sure that IEEE goes smoothly at their respecting student branches. So for example, some of these student branches provide a facilities, coordination, promotion, and support for the competition. So ambassador, they will be facilities in the promotion as well as supporting the competition throughout. And some of these student branches also give the food and drinks and other refreshment food for the participants. They have a new competition with the support of the student branches. So this is the picture before last year. So coming to PR ambassador program. So this is an effective ISAN program started into 15 itself. We tried to generalize IEEE Extreme to, to more university students. Can you hear me? Yes, yeah. we can hear you. Okay. We we try to generalize IEEE Extreme to more university students, branches, and student members. So this is an amazing initiative started in 2015. So it's growing really well. PR ambassador assist student members in hosting IEEE Extreme at their respective student branch and also supporting non-student uh, non -student branch member to finding venue. PR ambassador host seminar and drive IEEE extreme programming competition participation in universities and colleges, creating general, creating general awareness about the competition throughout the college, throughout the universities, throughout the section, throughout the region. The next about the part will be to have kind of this seminar, this kind of webinar, the particular university and college. PR ambassador people will really help us uh, going IEEE Extreme with and publicity as well as all the achievement we have an IEEE Extreme. So last year we had an around 9,087 public relation volunteers in R1 to R10. So the ambassador program, they also agreed growth or the uh, age, you can see uh, they started with they started with uh, 150 volunteers in 2015. So last year we had close 2020 in 987 volunteers. So we can see a uh, growth PR ambassador and coming to volunteers, which is like including the judges, proctors and ambassador, we can see particularly growth from uh, 2015 to 2020. So we can see the particular growth in the volunteers helping IEEE Extreme. And coming to IEEE member engagement in IEEE Extreme. So we can see generally IEEE Extreme is one of the competition, one of the event that IEEE holds, which tries to engage 11,000 11, plus IEEE member. For example, participate 9,353 student members and then proctors 826 professional members and then PR ambassador 900 
87 student members and throughout the college universe and throughout the university 800 plus student branches of course as i said we have around the 75 plus countries participate itple extreme so itple extreme such a big event or competition so coming to engaging student proctors and itple branches ambassador use different kinds of publicity including participants post announcement board etc media outreach via college facebook channels newsletters magazine website etc awareness session at student branch events press kits and local proctors guides practice community partnership with section youth professional wie affinity group IEEE extreme success depend on the engagement and efforts of 100 volunteers around the globe. So coming to how your local student brands can support IEEE extreme. We had different ways. First thing is letting know both as well as student, uh, students and faculty about the event. You can ask the faculty to register as proctor for IEEE from for students you can direct them to our Facebook page fb.com slash extreme and also you can visit the website for more information itpulleextreme.org and we can help them identify venue space and resources they need for an enjoyable 24 hours of programming and networking assist them in finding proctors as ambassador that's one of the great thing you need to two ways to find the proctors for your teams participants for student branches and then some of these student branches as i said before like be like doing some creating like sponsor finding even sponsorship the student branches level and helping you no know, giving them a refreshment food and another thing provides student branches at the student branch level who are participate student branch particularly so these companies also get their branding as well as talent our talent equipment benefits that exits so this is the moment of last year IEEE extreme maybe the uh, on which happened before that we had IEEE extreme particular venue at the student branches but last year we did to covid situation we had to more to completely wear till most student branch for also participate IEEE extreme so this year the situation is improved so the uh, so the those reasons or situation as board uh, will be uh, having IEEE extreme at their all at the these student branches and forward this so these are the sponsor of IEEE extreme so as you is completely most of the part of the sponsorship of IEEE then you have some of the companies which help us more like ASCII board more than efficient and then we had cs academy platform partner and then of course we have wie affinity group helping us smooth their conduct uh, conductive of their competition and then coming to important dates already the registration for uh, for itable x team had uh, has started dead it has uh, 2nd august 2020 and we have some amazing response to the competition so it's a uh, uh, really great going and the competition will be held on 23 uh, october 2020 make sure you just make it one your calendar it has 23 october 2020 and the result will be official announcement within four or five weeks after the competition and then what's on your mind if 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 there are any question you can visit or you can reach them uh, reach team team mail it uh, x team at the rate itbully.org and you can visit the website itbullyxteam.org or you can uh, you can visit our facebook page ab.com slash extreme you will get the link in the comment box 
and this will be our last slide showing you contact information if you have any problems with computation or registration then you can contact tarikul islam remote mail or or whatsapp number hope you all understand about this competition so thank you everyone for staying us for so long thank you both tarikul islam limon and tanima islam for your enlightening presentation we are impressed having a great seminar i think the participants learned a lot today and will be much benefited by the webinar now i am requesting to present the crest of appreciation for our honorable speakers at first i am requesting to present the crest of appreciation for tarikul islam brimon thank you very much next thank i am you. requesting to present the crest of appreciation for tony maislam thank you okay okay um now i would like to ask sharmin tithi vice chair of i tripoli bvt women in engineering student branch affinity to express her perceptions about today's event thank you maharin for the opportunity to share my feedback to the webinar and also many thanks to the speaker of today's session that they have made a great presentation throughout the webinar and for sharing the important concept about artificial extreme today we have become aware of the competition and and its all criteria past history ambassador programs registration volunteers and so many things we have known by this webinar we are grateful to have you as a speaker at today's session i also thank the committee members of ITPOLI BUBT WI student branch affinity group and ITPOLI council on superconductivity BUBT student branch chapter for arranging such a meaningful event that will make the participants encouraged to participate in the ITPOLI extreme and have a chance to gain more reputation we are hopeful to arrange such more and more successful events in the coming future and last of all i am also inspiring all the itpol student members participating today to register for the itpol extreme and get a chance to complete across the world and gradually become a great programmer however that's all about my per perception about the webinar thank you all thank you sharmin tithi now i would like to ask azmira naushin sriti general secretary of itpol council on superconductivity bubt student branch chapter to say some words about today's event thank you maharin assalamu alaikum and good evening at first i would like to thank itpol student branch and also our a uh, branch that uh, we have uh, organized uh, a very helpful event today actually it was very much needed many of the itpol members we don't know about what is the importance of itpol extreme we may get notifications by email but still we somehow ignore it. so it was a really helpful event and uh, i'm very thankful that uh, the speakers uh, really explained everything well and many will be at uh, many will be uh, helped with the information and uh, many uh, students who uh, doesn't have itpol membership uh, will be encouraged to be a member and to participate uh, again i'll th i'd like to thanks all the participants who have come with the expectation to know and learn something uh, i really appreciate all uh, today we had a great number of participants thank you all for such a uh, great response thank you
thank you thank you azmira naushin sriti we want to let you know today we have another event on ba basic graphic design 3 hours later at 9 pm we invite all of you to participate in the event <coughs> Thank you once again to all the honorable guests, faculty members, and students for your cooperation. That is must for all time. It's been a pleasure being with all of you today. And again, thank you all for your patience. We reached to the ending moment of this event. Wish you all a very good evening again. Stay safe and sound. Assalamu alaikum.